feels appropriate. This is so weird. It's a weird feeling going to the hospital and with you not in labor because your labors have been so fast leading up to this point and we've been, you go into labor, it's rush, 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 but now it's like, you're not in labor. So now we just casually drive to the hospital. We casually drive to the hospital, casually check in. So it doesn't feel real. Like it doesn't no. feel like we're leaving with a baby. Are we really having a baby tomorrow? I don't think so. Just say goodbye to the kids. They're at Gemi and Pupums for a few days. Eloise is very excited to have a few sleepovers at Gemi and Pupums. Yeah, very excited. Hey, okay. let's go have a baby. It's a matter of hours, hun. A matter of hours. It's just so crazy when you see that. Last time I can use my belly shelf. <laughs> I just uh, had a shower. You're supposed to like shower with uh, antibacterial soap. So I did that. We're all settled in. I'm trying to sleep tonight. Do you think you're gonna sleep at all? No. Tomorrow, I so think I'm the first one for tomorrow. So that's 8 a.m. So we have to be up and prepped and how are you adjusting to everything and how do you feel? I'm feeling like physically I feel fine. My tummy is full of butterflies. I'm nervous. I'm excited. I'm terrified. But I'm trying to eat something because I, after midnight I can't eat anything. I'm gonna be yeah. starving by tomorrow, so. Excited. Am I gonna know if it's a boy or a girl? Hmm. <laughs> Eloise is still completely convinced that it's a girl. She keeps I saying, we're gonna have three girls. Me, mommy, and baby. <laughs> I guess we'll see you in the morning. Have a baby. I'm so nervous. I have been up since like 3 a.m. just nervously waiting. Like, I feel so sick, sick to my stomach with nerves. And like, my heart has been racing since 3 a.m. I don't like knowing. I don't like knowing when it's gonna happen. Would you rather not know? Yes, <laughs> then I wouldn't be so nervous. The baby's been giving me some really, really good hard last jabs. <laughs> like, they hurt. Do one last bum shot. This is baby at 35 weeks, almost 36 weeks. Exactly one month to the day before the due date, and uh, we're gonna see this little person in a matter of hours. So right now, Delilah is getting prepped. I think they're putting in the, uh, all the medication so that she's numb. And I'm just, I was put in her room, and I'm waiting for her, it's all, happening and we are very excited. It's, I don't really know, <laughs> like we're nervous, we're happy, we're excited, we're, we don't know what to expect, this is all new to us again. You know, with the previous two natural deliveries, it's, you know, we knew what was, we were going into the second time, but now this is, this is all new again, so it's a little bit nerve-wracking, but we're trying to stay calm and just be there for each other and that's, I mean, that's really all I can do anyways, but it should be good. You're just going to sneak around this little ultrasound machine here, and that's your tool. Okay. Shaky. Okay. Yeah. You're the one going to announce whether it's a boy or a girl. Am I? Yeah. I just felt like an eternity waiting for you. I, I, I still got the shakes even though I'm not in actual oh. labor. Lots of pressure now. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's the head. Here it comes. Oh my. Oh. It's, just, it's, it's a boy. <laughs> it's a boy. It's a boy. Yeah. Oh. Oh, sorry, yes. Mom, forget about me, Dad. Oh, yeah. You're lovely. Hi, Mom and Dad. A little bit. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? Oh. <laughs> You're very cute. Oh, yeah. Love me, so they're just going to check them over. Okay. Yeah. He'll be right <laughs> so they see you, sweet. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
smaller. I got something around her face. Little bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little bit, uh, like, probably hard to see, but he'll be good. He looks great. Yeah. Our baby looks really good. Yes, he yeah. does. You're going to come with me? He already peed on section is done. I lost more blood than yes. usual, but that's usual was one one liter, and you lost 1.6. So but a bit more. that was also to be expected with my placenta and everything. And they did. I think everything that they suspected was actually true. So it's a good thing. They said the doctor said when she made the incision, a bunch of umbilical cord actually came out first, like as soon as that happened, which is kind of a crazy thought. Yeah, and it's like obviously he couldn't have been born vaginally. Yeah, no, there was absolutely no way. Because all, with, you said all that he cord was... would have come out first. He flipped around for when we did that <laughs> la latest ultrasound and then... Yeah, he flipped back. So I'm in recovery now. He is in NICU. My arms feel very empty. That's Wait not... Wait a second, let me... Let me <laughs> gather yourself. I am hand expressing some colostrum so we can get him the best thing that I can give him. Yeah. Before you know it, in a couple hours we'll go and see him together. I can start to move my legs. Oh, nice. Move them a little bit. He's doing good. He came out vigorous. Is Doctor's good. words. Yeah. He's very, like, he's doing really well. So hopefully in the next 12 hours, he'll be showing good signs and then he can come home with us. This is the first food that I've eaten since midnight last night. It's 2.35. I just got back to a regular room and now we're just kind of waiting for the freezing to go away so that I can start walking. And I want to walk as soon as possible so that I can go up and see baby. Because I haven't seen him, I haven't held him. All I've been able to do is just kiss baby's head. And the baby was taken away. Zach has been up there in the NICU and he's been FaceTiming. Um, so I was able to see baby and baby is so small. Baby is so small. But everything is looking good and baby's looking really good. And hopefully we'll be able to come home with the baby. Hopefully baby won't have to stay longer than we have to stay here. Zach came back with the goods. Mm -hmm coffee. I'm starting to feel a little bit of pain in the incision area. My legs are starting to get quite a bit of feeling back, which is nice. 
Oh, yeah. Every time I laugh. That's what everyone said, is when you laugh, that's when it hurts. So hold, like, a pillow or something against your stomach. I've got these, like, compression... What are they? Compression... Something to get the, the blood flowing. Every once in a while, it, like, puffs up. <laughs> My arms feel so empty. Baby should be here with me. Like, it, d it does not feel right that baby's not here. Get to go see baby. Zach gets to wheel me up there. Welcome to the world. Welcome to the world, buddy. You got a sister and a brother waiting to see you. 